What's up guys? So today I will be talking about something called the abundance mentality. And on top of that, I'm going to tell you about how you can very easily, whether you're a guy or a girl, completely miss out on a lot of opportunities very, very quickly, especially when you're in an area with uh, medium to high amounts of people. So if you've been following my videos, um, I went on uh, a cruise and I went to Bermuda and I went with a few thousand other people on the boat and it lasted about a week and so it's kind of ironic uh, I don't know if that's the right term but basically uh, if you've been following my vlogs I've been saying how over the last months or so I've been living in this very ghost town area where there's barely any people and there's not much to do and then all of a sudden I'm flung into the other side of the spectrum I step onto this cruise which I've been waiting months to actually go to and boom tons and tons and tons of people it's like college again it's it's a huge flip side there's so many people now whereas before right before I was living in this this ghost town of an area in uh, in the East Coast, and um, it was very, very, very uh, empty, and there wasn't any people anywhere. Well, there, there are people, but I mean, it's it's very, very empty compared to like California or something like that. And especially during a work day, it's like there's there's literally like uh, nothing around, and so. <clears throat> basically long story short if you just want the gist of it um, in like a highly populated area you can get this type of mentality that pretty much destroys you uh, whether you're a guy or a girl uh, especially for a guy uh, you can think oh, oh I, I won't approach that girl I mean I mean I'm kind of uh, that uh, I'm kind of shy and that's out of my comfort zone um, I'll just let it go and I'll approach the next one and then you do that again and again and you reason that the reason you can do this is because oh there's there's so many girls anyways if, if I pass up on these these girls it doesn't matter there's so many girls there's plenty of fish in the sea and you can you can use this this mentality and pretty much ruin you and so that's the short story so now I'm going to go into the more elaborated version so Everyone who's been around for at least 10 years um, knows the phrase uh, there's plenty of fish in the sea. Every time someone breaks up, that's the phrase you hear. There's plenty of fish in the sea, you'll find another one. And I truly agree with this phrase. If you want statistics, um, how about just one? The population size for the human race google that right now because it's constantly changing i mean if you there's a few websites on on this uh counter and if you refresh every second i, I believe the number jumps like 500 every second so it's it's exponentially increasing if you look at the charts and the number is mon it's monstrous like 7 billion 8 billion and if you want the truth of the matter, I've done the math, I believe. Um, if you were to talk to like 60 new people every minute, you would not meet every person in the world, even if you live like 200 years. That's how many people there are. So the idea of there not being enough fish in the sea is retarded and what I really want to get across is because there's a lot of people out there who are hung up on their ex-wife or ex-husband or ex-boyfriend or girlfriend and that is what I want to get across there's plenty of fish in the sea but the problem is that they, they think that one is special and stuff like that I'll, I'll, give, I'll do another video all on that if you really want it. If you do, leave a comment below. But I want to talk about this abundance mentality. 
So basically, the general idea is that uh, with abundance, um, and this is this is a fairly well known type of thing, um, abundance mentality. It's just something that naturally comes across unconsciously um, to a lot of people who are really really uh, abundant in their life. They have a lot of options with girls or guys, so they're not really scared if uh, it doesn't work out with their boyfriend or girlfriend. And basically, the mentality pretty much says, I know that there's plenty of fish in the sea, and that's pretty much why it's not a big deal if I lose something. If you look at other species, it's kind of like the uh, alpha male of the lion pack. Uh, he knows that this, this one lioness is not that special and he has full control and decision of the entire pack uh, for lions the alpha male pretty much has first choice of all the the lionesses and then the, the beta males follow after and so um we are different from lions and stuff but it's it's there's there's certain things that still come across that are the same um if you just look at uh, guys or girl, mainly guys who are very very good with uh, relationships and girls, these people have abundance. Like if you just imagine your that role model in your head, that's typically what you you think of. Uh, if he breaks up with his girlfriend, he's not going to like whine and cry all day. He's going to find someone else pretty quickly. Why? Because there's, he knows there's plenty of other uh, people just as eligible as uh, his girlfriend. And he knows that he himself is good enough to attract so many people. And so with this mentality, this abundance mentality, um, if you, it's kind of like if you, if you use this, um, it can kind of trip you up if you use it wrong. And the, the point is that like, again, it, it goes back to the cruise thing and this is how it kind of screwed up. So long story short, I pretty much went on a cruise and I did what I said. I was like, oh, um, well, she, I, I can't approach her. She's, she's not that good looking anyways, whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll approach the next one or I'll talk to the next one. Um, I'll make friends with the next one and then it kept going on and on and I kept screwing up in a way that I, I stopped my approach before it even happened like I, I ended it before it even started basically and so I would keep doing this and, I, and my reasoning was that uh, there's, there's, oh, there's so many people in this world there's billions uh, she, she's not like the perfect girl for me anyways she doesn't have like perfect everything it's okay if I don't approach next and then I keep doing this over and over and over and then before long it's like wow um, I think I just went through all the girls on the ship and I've kind of creeped them out because I've kind of like hovered in the area and now I've I've, I've screwed up and I don't know what to do and then you end up being very depressed and alone and you're like wow I just screwed it up and even let's say you live in like central London where there's an endless flock of new people you could potentially keep using this this horrid mentality infinitely until you freaking die without ever actually talking to a girl it's like you pretty much ended it yourself before it even started and your life is gone now you could you could die thinking this oh it's okay i'll talk to the next one and that is how you screw things up for me um i didn't think it was that big a problem because one i mean a lot of them were like with their their mom or, or with their their grandma or with their entire family and I, I, it's just, I don't, I don't know how to approach something like that or talk to a girl like that. And yeah, most of them did not go to any of the events um, that were sanctioned by the cruise. So I 
I mean, I don't blame them. They were there pretty much sun tanning every day of their cruise on deck with like their family and stuff. Me, I mean, I, I partially only went to the events to see if they would show up. So it was kind of like, uh, I, I get where you're coming from. I probably wouldn't even go to these events if it wasn't for girls. So I do get it in that regard. But I don't know, it, it's tough. <clears throat> And that was the first reason, right? Uh, the second reason was because uh, our cruise was a small cruise. Despite being thousands of people, most of them were pretty much old people. And yeah, uh, that really limits the girls in my age range to like a, a very, very small amount of people. And maybe it's just me, maybe I'm just overthinking it, but um, I just didn't want to get some sort of reputation or something because it was a closed off environment it was still a small cruise I didn't want to screw it up constantly and then get rejected by all these people and then get some sort of name but I really think thinking back I might have been overthinking it I mean there were it was a, a cruise with thousands of people on board so despite it being like a closed off little fishbowl environment I really thought mm -hmm. There's, there's a lot I could have done and so that is how you screw it up um, yeah there are other stories I want to tell about my cruise but I, I don't know if do I want to make other videos actually you know what I'll tell you one okay um, I'll make other videos for other stories but I'll, I'll tell you guys one basically uh, I did manage to man up once and I did approach a very very good looking girl who was sun tanning with her friend and I just complimented her and then left it took me like an hour to work up the courage and then um, if I hadn't told myself that I was going to leave after the compliment I don't think I would have ever gotten the courage to do so so it was, it was very nice in, in that she uh, gave a very nice reaction her friend was kind of like sitting there uh, she was blonde the friend was brunette she the friend was sitting next to her and she she was like the whole time like I, I, I wouldn't say it like that but she was kind of like oh my gosh oh my gosh did he really just do that not in like a um, offended way but more like just uh, kind of like interested but surprised way I don't know how to say it. but yeah I I ran out of there pretty quickly I was pretty embarrassed and again I was scared about the reaction even though I know you shouldn't even care about the reaction and so I, I was proud of myself for doing that but at the same time um, you know a lot of missed opportunities which I don't really care much for because again um, I mean a lot of the girls they're, they're, they're just normal average looking girls there uh, some were very decent looking but they came with their family um, I wasn't there to fraternize or anything or so it was it was a very chill thing I went there to have fun and stuff and at the same time I really wish I could have at least done something more I don't know how to say it and the, the one thing I do miss is um, one of the workers there, but that will be for another story. Um, that's for another time. Um, that's, that's the only real regret I have, and that, that's a story for another time. Maybe I'll upload it on this channel. But basically, there is my story. I pretty much use this uh, sort of abundance mentality thing because, uh, I don't know, in a way, it does make sense in the fact that uh, if girls see that you you don't really care if you get rejected, they'll, they'll realize, hey, this guy isn't a loser. He's not like he's he doesn't have a scarcity of of women. So maybe I, maybe I'll stick around and keep the conversation going with him. And the thing is, you can use this, but only after you've talked to the girl. And potentially she's like soft rejected you and then you can be like oh it's okay it's okay I don't really care and then 
continue a conversation and then she'll be like oh i'm i'm still interested hmm, this, this guy's interesting he, he's not phased by my rejection and then it'll show like this guy you have abundance even if you don't you can like fake it with this mentality and project confidence and stuff however using this like before like i did it just ruins it before even the approach you just have this mentality oh there's plenty of fish in the sea oh there's there's definitely girls in this world that are hotter oh oh maybe she had a bad personality anyways it's okay there's so many there's so many other girls there's so many other options and then you keep you keep chickening out <clears throat> time and time again using this reasoning infinitely and then I'm, I'm just stuck in a rut um I don't know what to say it was a great cruise honestly um, I'm, I'm not too too saddened I, I know a lot of people would be or they, they'd be let down or they, they regret like not doing anything socially with all these opportunities on a cruise and in a way I am but on the other side of it this might just be the loser side of me talking now but I mean <clears throat> there, there, was, there was like what 50 girls total on a ship of thousands that were in, in my age group okay some of them were, were definitely good looking and I guess some some sort some part of me is just using any sort of flaw I can latch on to as an excuse not to approach and that is something that's really really stupid of me and even the good looking girls I'd be like oh I can't approach her um she, she, she's not that good looking anyways she she has a freaking uh she has she has a little bit of hair on her on her chin or something I don't know but it, it'll be like the stupidest excuse ever and it's just like latching on to any single flaw in her beauty in order to not approach and I mean there's 50 girls on a ship of thousands if I screwed it up word would have spread I'm, I'm sure maybe not who knows but but what I'm saying here is that a lot of them came with boyfriends okay um, there have been a few instances before and during this cruise when I saw a girl I'm like mm, that looks like a, a, a very decent girl and then the boyfriend would swoop in with like the cocktail and like sit down and I'm like oh mm, good thing I didn't approach but at the same time it's like I don't know I don't know the point is the point is most of them were in sets with their they, they were in groups with their their friends or family or people and I don't know I don't know maybe I should have said something it's, it's hard when there's other people around what can you say a straight-out compliment into conversation just seems a little weird so if you've actually watched all 20 minutes of this video <clears throat> I don't know are you are you a stalker or something I'm just kidding but um if you've actually watched 20 minutes of this video uh thanks for watching and if you have any advice comments um anything else uh leave it below and uh yeah I I'd be happy to hear it um I'm sure there's there's definitely girl subscribers, so I'm sure there's they can give me some insight onto uh, what potentially could have happened. Like, let's say you, as a girl, went on some sort of vacation, or some sort of event, and let's say it was a cruise of some sort, and you brought your your friends or family, and then let's say you you kept going to events, or you you just went sun tanning or something with your friends and you're constantly with people what would a guy do to approach you or would you even be wanting an approach or is an approach even possible i'm sure it is i'm sure it is there's there's probably some way but just directly going up and complimenting the girl or 
uh, something like that. It's it's just I don't know if that would actually work. I mean, it might, but let's say your parents are there too. What about that? So、uh, leave a comment, and yeah, I'm I'm really just kidding about the the stalker thing. So if you actually watch 20 minutes of this, thank you, because a lot of people will probably click away in in the first three minutes. And yeah,、uh, if you really understood me and, and get where I'm coming from, then thank you. Yeah, it's 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 a it's a tough world sometimes. And、um, there's a lot more to say, a lot more stories to tell from my cruise,、uh, but that will be for a future video. So like, rate, comment, and most importantly, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. It's completely free. It's down below this video on YouTube. This has been Will, and I'll see you guys later.